hi guys this is the Gaudi I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7 in the last video tutorial we tested all our API methods with role based authorization and now we are pretty much done with our backend the only thing that's left to code is the email sending service using SendGrid and the reason I didn't code it when we were coding the registration method is because we have not yet set up our email service with SendGrid email account with SendGrid it's free to open an account with SendGrid and they allow you certain number of emails every month now the reason I didn't implement the email confirmation feature when we were coding registration is because when the user receives an email to confirm their registration they receive a link where they will click on the link and they are redirected to the login page since we have not yet coded our login page I decided that I will create the confirm email feature after we have coded the login page so now we will start coding the front end of our application which means we will start working on our client app also since at the very beginning of the video tutorial series I told you that if you want to you can open this client app folder in Visual Studio Code and use Visual Studio Code to code your Angular app that's because the IntelliSense on Visual Studio Code is much better than the IntelliSense on Visual Studio ID for Mac and you will have number of extensions related to Angular that you can download and install on Visual Studio Code that can help you code much easily compared to Visual Studio ID for Mac now the only thing that I am going to do here is I'm going to use the ID for Mac since I will continue coding with the ID but if you want to you can go ahead and code the client app using the Visual Studio Code editor so now let's go ahead and start working on our login and registration page designs but since our application is requires us to implement bootstrap UI we would have to install bootstrap if you are familiar with responsive web development you might know that bootstrap is an open source toolkit for building very powerful responsive and dynamic mobile first user interfaces now it uses jquery and popper sometimes as a dependency therefore we would need to install jquery and popper along with the bootstrap package we can easily install bootstrap in our angular project using the npm command now before we use the command first thing we want to do is open our terminal and cd into our client app folder in the project once inside the client app folder now we will go ahead and update our package manager so to update our package manager we'll type the following command sudo install sorry sudo npm install globally npm this is going to update the version of npm globally so we have to specify our password since we use the sudo command hit enter and then it's going to update the npm for us now we have the latest version of our npm running next thing that we want to do is go ahead and install bootstrap to install bootstrap we are again going to use the sudo npm install command and now we are going to specify the name of our package which is bootstrap and we are going to save it so now let's hit enter and now the bootstrap package will be installed now as you see we have the latest version of bootstrap installed which is 4.3.1 let's clear this since bootstrap requires popper 
and jQuery. So let's go ahead and install jQuery. And to install jQuery, we are going to type the command sudo install uh, sudo npm install jQuery and save it. So jQuery has been installed, the latest version of jQuery. So let's clear this again. Now let's go ahead and install popper.js. So let's type the command sudo npm install popper.js and save. So popper.js also has been installed. Let's hit clear this. So we have installed Bootstrap and all the required packages for our Bootstrap UI. In order to check where these packages are stored, they are stored under the node underscore modules folder. To find your node underscore modules folder, you would need to display hidden files and folders. So to do that, right click on your project and go to right click on your project folder and go to display options and click show all files and now you should be able to see a folder called as node underscore modules inside node underscore modules you will find all the packages that you install using npm and all the packages that are available now also note that it might take few seconds to load this because there are a bunch of packages in this now we want to search for bootstrap so it will start with the letter b so there it is bootstrap and it has added the bootstrap package for us we can always open the bootstrap files and search for all the files that are available under bootstrap package so if I go to this option here, bootstrap.js, I can check the version as well. So it will create all the folders for the packages under this node underscore modules folder, which is basically hidden. So I'm just going to hide it again. So in case if you want to access it, you can access it by displaying the files. Now we have installed bootstrap jQuery now we need to load this into our application so let's go to our package.json file and also check if the reference to the packages has been added so as you see that there's reference here which is bootstrap then we have popper and we have jquery you see this option here like carrot option here because we have the latest version and it will update it so when you run the npm update command it will update all the packages and this means this is the latest version now that we are using so now let's go ahead and provide the references so that it can load the bootstrap package into our application so to do that we will go to our angular.json file and here we will provide references to our bootstrap css and jquery and popper.js so let's do that so inside the angular.json file what we want to do is go to this key which says styles and the key which says script as you see it's an array that contains your style sheet a default style sheet is style.css which you can find under the source and inside the source you can find it it's here style.css so any styles that you add here will be implement implemented on the entire web application so now if you want to add more styles you will add them here most references to most style sheets since I 
am using bootstrap so i need to reference the bootstrap css we will reference the min minified version of bootstrap so let's go ahead and do that our style sheet for bootstrap is inside the node modules folder so the way we reference this is dot forward slash node modules node underscore modules that's a folder name then the package name bootstrap and inside the dist folder we have the css folder and the bootstrap.min.css in case if you want to verify this path you can go ahead right click on your project folder display the files and folders that are hidden and you can check this path under node underscore modules because when we install this using npm package that's how it installs it install the packages in your node underscore modules folder the next reference that we want to add is for the scripts that we are going to use so let's go ahead and add the reference for that scripts so we when adding references to bootstrap, bootstrap scripts we need to make sure that we first load jquery then we load popper.js and finally we load bootstrap so this is the order in which the script should be loaded in this sequence if we load bootstrap script before jquery then you'll get an error saying that dollar is not found a dollar symbol which means jquery was not found because bootstrap uses jquery we need to first load jquery so let's do that so we have added the references for these three packages in the scripts now let's save this and build up application the build was successful now we can use bootstrap ui in our templates and we can use it in our entire application so let's go ahead and test it so let's open the app folder inside the source and open the app.component.html and this is some default code that loads when we run our application just run this application now you must have noticed that the font looks a bit different that's because it's loading the bootstrap scripts and css styles so if I go to network and I refresh this page again, you will see that there's a scripts option here. And if you look at the response, you will see the following scripts being loaded, which is jQuery, Bootstrap. These are the scripts that we refer referenced in our angular.json file popper. So that's because we see this changes in the font so now let's check if bootstrap is loading properly for that let's just copy this demo navigation navbar option from here that's the navbar code for bootstrap and from bootstrap get bootstrap.com that's the official website for bootstrap and now let's go to our application in here and just change this code and replace it with this option here now this should automatically refresh in the browser you don't need to reload that's how angular works on live server so now you see that the options have been loaded and there is no error in your application if there was error you would see it here but there's no error 
and bootstrap is loading in your application all the options are also being loaded so bootstrap is working fine bootstrap you got we have installed bootstrap in our angular 7 application and now in the next video tutorial we'll start coding our navbar by using creating a new navbar component and this should be it for this video tutorial so we have successfully installed the packages to start working on our ui so please like and subscribe our channel tech howdy